The Philippines isn't the first place you would assume that one of the most popular pugilists of the 21st century would emerge from. But in 2001, Manny Pacquiao was finally making his American debut against Lelo Ledwaba. Pacquiao eventually knocked Ledwaba in the sixth round and won the IBF Super Bantamweight Championship. And calls a halt to the bell. After a few years of dominance, Pac-Man fought against Jim Manuel Marquez in the summer of 2005. The contest was ruled a draw. The Filipino's first loss in America came a few months later, when he lost by unanimous decision in his fight with Eric Morales for the vacant WBC super featherweight title. But Pacquiao came back with a vengeance in the following four years with notable wins over Marquez, Ricky Hatton, Oscar De La Hoya, and Miguel Cotto. Fighting all the way up to welterweight, which is an incredible 28 pounds heavier than his earlier fights in his home nation. With his aforementioned win over Miguel Cotto, Pacquiao became the first boxer ever to be an octuple champ, winning a championship in eight different weight divisions. In 2010, Pacquiao brutally demolished Antonio Margarito, had his third win in his fight with Marquez, at the time seemingly putting the rivalry to bed after also winning the pair's second fight. However, after a split decision loss to Timothy Bradley Jr. that many believed was a robbery, he would face Juan Manuel Marquez for the fourth and last time. Marquez beat Manny in that fight. Instead of retiring, Pacquiao came back and defeated Brandon Rios in dominant fashion and then avenged his controversial loss to Timothy Bradley Jr. Finally challenged Floyd Mayweather Jr. and it was the highest selling fight of all time, selling a record-breaking 4.6 million pay-per-view buys. Sadly, Mayweather ran away from Manny for most of the fight and landed many long jabs and counter right hands to guarantee him an easy decision win. In 2018, Pacquiao was 39 years old, and yet he claimed the WBA title by beating Lucas Mathis in the seventh round via a fantastic TKO. In 2019, a unanimous decision win over Adrian Broner. And in July of 2019, Manny beat Keith Thurman at the age of 40 to become the oldest welterweight champion in history and the only fighter to have won the welterweight championship four times. Classic performance. Pacquiao is an inspiration to millions and is loved by the people of his home nation, the Philippines. At 41, it is safe to say he will always be one of the greatest boxers ever.